Hello, my name is Kashef. Welcome to this session that discusses transferring to the new SAS scheduler, which is released as part of 22C for all Oracle Utilities Cloud Services. In this session, we will talk about features of SAS batch scheduler and how the existing SAS customers can transfer batch job streams to the new SAS batch scheduler. I will give you an overview of the new SAS batch scheduler, followed by more details to what is being changed and new feature summary that will benefit to your business. Finally, we will discuss what you need to do to transfer your existing batch job stream definitions to new SAS batch scheduler and provide you with some additional resources. The new SAS batch scheduler is being introduced with an updated scheduler engine and user interface to define, manage, and schedule batch job streams. It replaces Oracle DBMS scheduler for batch scheduling in all Oracle Utilities Cloud services that we have been currently using to schedule batch job streams. We introduced the new scheduler as we were facing challenges while enhancing the batch stream experience due to DBMS scheduler limitations, such as shared services across multiple customer tendencies and highly coupled with database upgrades. SAS batch scheduler is a feature in Oracle Utilities Cloud Service Foundation that provide a SAS batch scheduler engine and user interface to define, manage, and schedule batch streams to run at periodic intervals. The key feature include reliable processing and scheduling, enhanced visibility into batch stream processing, empowering customers to perform self-service troubleshooting, resilient infrastructure not affected by application migration and upgrades, dedicated scheduler engine for each customer and no dependency on database upgrades. Although we have tried to minimize the impact on the user experience, there are changes in the user interface and web services. On the user interface level, we have introduced three new portals, scheduler batch stream definition, batch scheduler batch control and a scheduler batch stream operation portal. This portal will contain the enhanced information to the existing portals and will contain information on both sides when you upgrade to 22C release. Customers on 22C are required to use new scheduler objects only. We will discuss the transfer functionality later in this stack. Other portals showing the batch stream related information will now show the new scheduler objects. For integration purposes, we had introduced program options like business state, debug mode, threat pool, threat notify, single submitter, and etc. In the new scheduler, these are not supported. However, business date can be defined on the scheduler batch stream definition portal if required. Along with similar lines, the renew publish option is also not required because the new SAS scheduler is running within the Cloud Service Foundation layer. For web services, schedule, schedule delegation is not supported. This means that the customers who are using DBMS scheduler as sub scheduler with external third party scheduler will not be able to use the new SAS scheduler as a sub scheduler. However, a external sub-scheduler direct submission API will be available uh, in SAS scheduler for customers who want to use an external third-party scheduler to, to manage and submit individual batch processes. We would like our customers to move out from DBMS scheduler by the 23B timeframe. Let's explore some of the new features introduced with SAS Scheduler. Scheduler Batch Stream Definition Portal is enhanced to support a start stream in future. This means you can create batch streams now and plan to run in future. 
as we discussed previously, the business date program option is now added to the scheduler badge stream definition. Also, now when you activate the stream without the schedule defined, you have an option to defer the immediate run. On scheduler badge stream operational portals, uh, of, uh, we have added like enhanced new search criteria to separate running and suspended streams. Now you can pause and resume your stream runs as needed. And you can restart the stop stream run, which was not possible in the DBMS scheduler. In order to have most of the step level execution information, we have enhanced the zone to show start and end date time and view batch run details along with each stepped run duration. Now you can also skip an individual step that is, uh, that is in the line for execution. This addresses the operational requirement to create multiple duplicated streams to avoid running a single or multiple steps. Overall, the new operational portal user experience enable customers to address many operational issues. Customers upgrading to 22C are required to follow the recommended steps to transfer the existing bad job stream definition into the new SAS scheduler. As we have mentioned earlier, this is not required for customers who have started implementation on 22C as they will start with the new SAS scheduler. The recommended steps are perform the transfer functionality in the pre prod environment first. This means that you migrate your latest existing batch streams from your prod environment to, to any pre prod environment to start with. Use the transfer option available on batch job stream definition portal, which will move the existing batch job stream definitions to the scheduler batch stream definition. Perform thorough testing of your batch stream with the new scheduler. Make sure that you canceled and deleted the existing stream in the target environment before migrating. And use the CMA to migrate the new batch scheduler definition. We have new migration plans available for this. The transfer functionality will inactivate the existing batch job stream definition and rename it suffix with underscore old. It will also create a new scheduler batch stream definition with pending status. You are required to review the new definition and associated uh, schedule associated to it and manually activate it. If you have multiple streams that you want to transfer, we have added a new batch control that will transfer all of your existing batch of stream definitions to scheduler batch stream definition. However, we recommend thorough regression testing on this before performing the same in your production environment. Please make sure that your streams are not running while you either perform transfer online or via batch. In this presentation, we covered high level introduction to the new SAS scheduler, how to transfer your existing batch of streams into new scheduler. We encourage you to refer to the My Oracle support document on transferring batch job stream definition to new SAS batch scheduler the online product documentation, and the framework guide for best practices for batch processing. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.